Just feeding off a couple of my comments uh, after our game the other night, uh, I just want to thank our fans. Uh, it, was a, it was a special season for a lot of reasons. Uh, finishing undefeated at home, uh, you know, I give a lot of credit to our support and the people that are willing to come out and support our program and create an atmosphere the other night that was uh, certainly special and unique and uh, our players certainly appreciate it and it helps us win games. So a big uh, thank you to all the people that came out throughout the season, especially Saturday uh, to support our weekend. Uh, you know, as far as this week, uh, everybody's excited. Uh, it's a great time to be excited uh, in regards to we get to practice again today. That means we got another game at hand and certainly uh, the opponent uh, uh, has been there before. We've played each other five times now this season, and so it's, uh, you know, who's going to be able to come out, execute, do the little things necessary to give their teams the best opportunity to win. Uh, so it should be a fun atmosphere. It should be a fun game to play in, and certainly uh, our players are excited for the opportunity. Coach, you got a big sheet of ice you're going to be playing on this weekend. How comfortable do you think your players can get with that in just one week of practice? Well, I mean, uh, both teams will be playing on it. Uh, it just makes for a different game than, than what we, you know, the previous five games we played against each other. Uh, and we, you know, we won a national championship up in Minneapolis playing in, uh, you know, Mariucci, which is a big ice sheet. And so um, get an opportunity to skate a couple of sessions here at the, at the Cole Center and, and make the adjustments necessary. And again, it comes down to, you know, your good players have to be good. You have to do a lot of little things and, uh, you know, that won't be any type of excuse because both teams will be playing on it. Uh, and again, uh, history tells me that uh, when we match up against Minnesota, generally they're pretty close games. Uh, they're overtime games. Uh, you know, they're end-to-end -end action. And, you know, for the people that show up or get a chance to watch it on the streamline, uh, similar to the previous five games this year, it'll be entertaining. You've been through this a lot of times. So, so how do you go about the week so that you know, the pressure doesn't build on these young ladies. Instead, just the excitement kind of builds towards the event. That's a good question. I mean, having been there and having players been, uh, you know, in this game uh, last season, uh, you know, other than our three freshmen, uh, I think everybody will be, you know, somewhat comfortable under the circumstances. But, you know, getting a chance to practice at the Cole Center and, uh, you know, playing a familiar opponent, uh, you know, th th there's nothing really new other than the, uh, you know, the magnitude of the game. And so we'll go about our week, uh, similar to the going about our week when we play Minnesota either here or up at their building and, uh, you know, do the things that put us in this position and, and not try to do uh, things outside that, make them aware of some things. And then it's going to come down to when they drop the puck, uh, who can execute. Third straight year you're playing Minnesota in the Frozen Four semifinals. Is there any part of you that wishes you were facing somebody else? Uh, can't control that. So that's just the way the numbers have fallen the last few years. And, uh, um, you know, here we are again. But the nice part is we're playing. And we're down to four teams. And, uh, you know, the, the season's going to be over, you know, for a couple teams Friday night. And, uh, you know, then the two get to advance and they get the Sunday's game. So, uh, very worthy uh, opponents. I mean, BC's undefeated. They're trying to do something that only Minnesota's done in the past. And, you know, Clarkson, uh, you know, a few years ago uh, upset Minnesota. And so they're in a position where they've got some seniors that have been down this past. So it should make for a great tournament. Mark, to what degree does your team perhaps have a psychological advantage just from the fact after a number of years of, of kind of coming up on the short end of the stick against Minnesota, you, you swept them here? You've shut them out on their home ice. You've you've you landed the last blow, so to speak. So, where, how does that play into the psyche of your team? I think uh, you know for both teams, uh, you know, as we prepare for the the game Friday night, uh, you know, what are our strengths, uh, and how can we play to those strengths? And I'm sure they're probably doing the same type of things. And and so you look at the matchups. You look at uh, how the game might transpire, and uh, you know you really have to play to your strength right now. Uh, you know, and I think uh, you know for both teams, uh, you know, confidence is probably at a pretty high uh, level right now. And so, you know, the first six, eight minutes of the game, there's probably going to be a lot of energy. There's going to be a lot of excitement on both parts. Uh, and you know, whether we had won the last game or lost the last game. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if that plays into either team's advantage or disadvantage. You know, it comes down to 60 minutes. It comes down to three periods. And 
you know, I, I get back to, you know, who can execute, uh, you know, need to stay out of the penalty box and, and do a list of maybe four or five things. And if you're able to check those off at the end of the game, you've probably given yourself a pretty good chance to win.